Today I'm becoming a citizen scientist. What's that, you ask? There's no need uh, for you to be an expert in the field. The idea is that you are passionate and curious and uh, want to know more. That's Emily Gregory, a marine ecologist who was in charge of the five citizen scientist programs on this trip. That includes the Secchi Disc and Phytoplankton programs, which study seawater depth and phytoplankton abundance, the NASA Globe Observer, which focuses on taking pictures of clouds from below and sending them to NASA scientists for them to study how clouds respond to climate change, a seabird survey that consists of snapping photos to identify seabirds in the Southern Ocean, and last but not least, the Happy Whale Project a database that passengers help build by taking photos of whales to help identify and track different species during their migration. If we can use tourism vessels for data collection avenues, uh, it allows us just these incredible long-term timescales of observations for that greater understanding of what's happening within these ecosystems. Some of these programs have been collecting data since 2013. They've even been successful in making an impact on the environments they're studying. So since Happy Whale has been established and the idea of uploading these identification photos of, of humpback whales, we can establish these go slow zones for ships so that uh, we can better protect these populations of humpbacks within these environments. And becoming a citizen scientist is both easy and rewarding. Just as father and daughter duo Fred and Isabella Calavasi. I was able to get involved with, with no experience. You know, I have such a curiosity about the natural world, obviously coming to Antarctica, but to be able to do that as a hobby is super cool and super awesome. I didn't think that I'd be involved with citizen science on a ship on a cruise to Antarctica, but the lectures during the passage really opened up our eyes to what to expect, etc. It was almost like a cleansing before we went well, we went from the natural world as such to the to the supernatural world, we'll say, the real natural world. There are also programs you can get involved with at home. There are platforms like Zooniverse where people can uh, log in online and uh, there's a program called Penguin Watch where they're monitoring these penguin populations and then people can, get, can jump online and, and count the penguin populations. Other than helping scientists collect data, these programs can teach people like you and me how to conserve and protect these beautiful places. I'm a teacher, so I'm going to take that to my children, my three-year-olds at home, um, and get them involved. It's a real practical skill that they can learn um, and then they can become citizen scientists as well, which will be incredible.